hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for tuning in to another one of my videos so today i'm going to be doing a hair tutorial for you guys i'm going to be showing you guys how i did this quick weave i have been loving quick weaves recently um i don't know if i told you guys remember before i told you that i was scared of quick weaves because of the glue but now i'm like trying to get into doing some hairstyles for myself and saving money so it is definitely a big help because i don't know how to like necessarily sew the weave in <laughs> so yeah i've been loving quick weaves so for today we're going to be doing a deep side part so that's why i am um sectioning out this part of my head so i can really have a lot of hair left out on the side to really get that deep side part look And I am also sectioning out um, a little bit in front, as you guys can see, just to make everything look very seamless and natural. All I'm doing right here is just sectioning that part out. That is going to be a leave out section. And now I'm, section and now I'm just sectioning off my hair so I could create the actual braids that's going to be like glued down. Um, so yeah, I'm just starting the braiding process. I'm doing like two braids going down the same direction just so that the um, other side can be very flat. Um, Oh, I showed you guys this leave-in conditioner that I wanted to put in my hair before because I don't want my hair to be dry under the, underneath this. And sometimes I forget to put oil, which is like a no-no. So I'm putting in this leave-in conditioner just to make sure that my hair is very moisturized underneath this style. And then later on, you're going to see me oil my scalp as well. If you guys want you can go back and screenshot that leave-in conditioner that i just showed because that leave-in conditioner is the truth i use that when i have like braids and stuff like that and it really helps my hair grow it's called the lock method um yeah it's supposed to, it's supposed to be like the lock method like liquid oil and cream um but just get that exact same brand and i'm telling you guys it works wonders but right now I'm really just, you know, sectioning off my hair, braiding it, and just connecting it to each braid, making sure that all of them connect together so that I don't have like a tail hanging out with the braid, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I'm just doing a couple braids. Guys, I'm not a professional braider. I do not know how to braid. I usually ask my mom to braid my hair, but I don't have my mom today, so I just had to make something work. Um, I heard some people like just put their sleek sleek their hair back and put it in a low ponytail like a low bun and just do it that way like you could just do what works for you but i like braiding down my hair so it could be nice and secure so yeah i'm just doing that All right guys, so this is how the braid pattern is looking. If you guys wanna copy my same exact braid pattern. Um, yeah, um, I'm just gonna oil my scalp now. Um, do not skip this step guys, like I said, because you're gonna be so tight if you put the cap on your head and you haven't done nothing like oiled your scalp or anything like that. So make sure you oil your scalp. So now I'm just taking my stocking cap and just placing that over my head. And then I also like to trace out where um, I would like the glue to go. So I don't want it on my leave out section. 
I want it only on the braids. So I take some concealer just to line out where I want the glue and where I don't want the glue, which is, you know, I don't want the glue in my leave out area. So I'm just tracing that out just so that I don't make any mistakes. Now to be super, super sure that the glue doesn't mess up my hair, I use this um, protector. It's like a glue protector. You can find this at the beauty supply store. Just pick up the same exact one. And it's very sticky and messy. So make sure you like put a towel on and wear some gloves like I am. And you wanna just place that all over the, you know, the section where your braids are, where the weave's gonna be. You wanna place that all over that entire section and make sure it's fully coated, okay? And now I'm just going to go in with my blow dryer just to really blow dry that section and make sure it's nice and dry. You don't want to start gluing any other weave or any other tracks on until this is dry, okay? So just sit down, watch a movie, chill out, and just um, make sure it's completely dry. And as you guys saw just now, I did take some of the Got To Be spray and just sprayed a few sections that I feel like I missed. The Got To Be spray is good too for like holding and securing down the cap. So I did use a couple sprays of that just to make sure everything is nice and secure. Right now you see me cutting out um, the excess um, cap. And I just like doing this beforehand. Like I don't like gluing down the hair and then, I know some people do that, like they glue down the hair and then cut this off, but no, I need to see what's going on. So <laughs> I cut off this section and just expose my leave out so I could see what's going on and I could properly glue the tracks on in its appropriate section. And definitely make sure you're taking your time with this. Like actually look and see if you're not cutting your hair because you don't want any mistakes. So just take your time and make sure you're only cutting the cap, okay? All right, time to apply the track. So these are tracks that I already used in a previous install. I'm just using it again. So I'm just measuring out to see, you know, if it fits the section to my desire if not i just cut it or get a longer piece so um i think right now i found a piece that fits and is gonna go around so i'm just gonna take that section and glue it and what i did is i added the glue to the tip of the track and then i just literally placed it on the last row of my head so it's literally that easy that's why i said that i like quick weaves now because i can literally do this so quickly and so easily like this didn't even take this probably took what like 30 minutes just to put all the tracks in like it didn't even take that long which is crazy but you you know you want to just like place the track and then i like to blow dry it a little bit just to make sure that it's really secure and it's not going anywhere and then i head over to the next track and just repeat the process Now, um, when you reach to like your second or third track, you wanna start wrapping the hair towards the front. As you guys can see, I like started the track towards the front of my hair because I want some of the hair to fall down into my face. If you guys don't want the hair to fall down in your face, then you don't have to bring it all the way up here. But I like to bring it all the way up here because I want it to have like a nice little bang and fall in front of my face. So that's why I'm bringing some of the tracks. Um, I'm starting some of the tracks in front of my hair and then wrapping it all the way around as you guys can see and i'm just blow drying the section again so you want to do that after each section just to make sure it's nice and secure Thank you. 
once you reach to the top you want to just start filling in any gaps you know what's left so you really just want to see how it goes and kind of work with it um yeah so i just filled in that last little gap as you guys can see and it's basically complete so now for the fun part i'm taking out my leave out and i'm spraying it with some heat protectant um and i'm also spraying my weave with a little bit of heat protectant not too much you know a little goes a long way you don't want it to be too oily um and yeah so right now i'm gonna just start the flat ironing process um yeah that's pretty much it i'm gonna start flat ironing the front of my hair and the side leave out section i'm using a really small one inch titanium um, flat iron titanium is good for um 4c hair girlies which is me um it creates like less damage so that's what i'm using and yeah i'm just gonna make sure that leave out is nice and sleek All right, so we're in the bathroom now. <laughs> Transition. <laughs> um, so I moved to the bathroom because I just needed to stand up and really focus and see what I was doing. I hate flat ironing my hair, guys. Like, I'd be so lazy when it comes to flat ironing. Some people take mini sections. I'd just be taking sections and just making sure that it's straight. So this is what I'm doing. I'm just straining the weave now so everything can be nice and seamless. So this product that I use right here, Care Care, um, this is a wax stick. Guys, this is a pricey wax stick, but it's so worth it, guys. When I tell you guys, if you have natural hair and you have a hard time it really staying flat with your weave and you have like a leave out, yeah, this is definitely for you. Like, this really makes such a difference. As you guys can see, like, I don't even have to say anything. Like, you guys can see for yourself. Like, it makes it less frizzy, and it really sticks it down to your hair. Um, so this is the key that I use to really have my leave-out stay super flat, is this wax stick. So you can use it before, you can use it after you flat iron, but it really makes it stick. So now I'm just brushing my hair, seeing how it looks. I also, um, yeah, I cut it already. <laughs> As you guys can see, I just use the scissors. I was trying to use like a razor too. You can use a razor to get like a more precise look, but my razor just wasn't cooperating. So it's fine. It's fine though, because it still came out cute. Yeah guys, so after curling and doing my baby hairs, this is the final look. I just did like a few soft curls, nothing crazy. Um, I ended up flexi riding it the night of and it was like, you know, 
the curls were more defined and I had like more curls going on but for the ending of this video um, I just did like these soft little curls and but you guys get the gist of it like this is the style that I was going for like an asymmetrical type of bob um, and yeah guys I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and you guys learned something new from it and you're able to do your own quick weave on yourself and save some coins okay don't forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Um, are you subscribed yet? Stop the video right now and subscribe down below, okay? All right, guys. <laughs> I'm going now.